<gasps> ah! What happened? <gasps> What's going on? Guys, why is the sky all pink and purple-ish? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, I am Level Up Brandon, and today we're playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Sorry it's been a while, you guys. I've been playing Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga, Rune Factory 5 on my other channels, and I just haven't had time to record an episode, but I really missed my Pokemon. Z. So we're back, and last time we unlocked Braviary. So now we're gonna try flying, but I forgot how to do it. Do you just like jump off? Here, let's switch to the, is it this one? Braviary? Oh. Oh. You guys, we're flying. Look at us. We're flying. It's amazing. Oh. And that music. Can we get a nice little vantage point? Oh, man. Look at him. He's so beautiful, you guys. Look at how beautiful he is. Hi, buddy. Okay, we probably need to make sure we're going to the right place. This way. <laughs> How do we go down? Oh, that's how you like go forward, but how do you like, I wonder how you go down. I'm not actually sure how you go down. <laughs> maybe you stop flapping? No, maybe X? No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to go down. Should we just like, no, if we let go, then we're gonna fall to our deaths. What if we do plus? <gasps> Oh, dive, it's Y. I didn't even see the button over there, you guys. I'm so silly. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Slow down, buddy, slow down, slow down. Oh, that was intense. Okay, I think we went to the right place, right? Is this where we're supposed to go? Let's investigate. My arc phone's ringing. You obtained a piece of eternal ice. A type of ice beloved by Lord of the Lord of Tundra, Avalog. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalog that lived long ago. Neat. You guys, I have not changed moves for my Pokemon. I need to do stuff like that. Oh, this guy. At last, the summon is conquered. And I see you made it too, yeah. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning? Uh, I don't know. What uh, zeal of yours, I wonder? Oh, he, what drives that burning zeal of yours? I get it, okay. Right. You gave Derek the eternal ice. I do have to respect the efforts you put in. I may still have my, odd, uh, my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations. So you can get my face the Lord Avalog. Thank you. Meet me at my ice pack arena. Okay, another battle? We just did one. Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. <laughs> Till next we meet. Sure, okay. Make your way to Ice Peak, to the Ice Peak Arena. No, not yet, you guys. Not just yet. I am not ready. We first need to go home. We're gonna go back home really quick, get our bearings, and then we'll come back here. So let's go ahead and fly, of course. Not there, back to the camp. Where's the camp? Where's that camp? There it is. We set up a new camp over here. And uh, we're gonna fly that way. Oh man, this is so much fun. I can't wait to fly in other lands with Braviary. This is awesome. Okay, let's dive down, ready? There we go. Hello, Professor, how's it going, buddy? Oi, I see you've caught one Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Sure, only one, okay. There he is, look at that. How close are we to the next star level, you guys? I don't even know. We got money we gotta spend. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look. Hmm, most illuminating. Okay, yeah, look at all this. It's great, right? So we're nowhere near the next level. 
But we did surpass the seven star level last time or time before that. So that's good. So we're working on eight stars now. So what would you like to do now? I want to go to the village. Right ho. Yep, let's go. I want to go home for a little bit, you guys. I'm not ready for another boss fight right away. We just kind of, sort of, had a boss fight. Not like a boss boss, you know, but still. I gotta relax in my beautiful town just for a second. Ah, oh, it's so nice. I wanna get some mochi, you know. Go to my house, stuff like that. <laughs> Oi, how's it going? What's up? Okay, here's the home. Let's go in the house. Put our stuff away. We could look at crafting a few things too. You guys check out the store, I don't know. Check out the farm. I think they were growing some stuff for us maybe. Okay, we're gonna put all this stuff away. So move all X, 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 X. Do that for all these things. I can use some of that stuff. All right, we'll move that uh, pop pod. I feel like I had a few uh, quests that could have been, ooh, a candy. I feel like I had a few quests that I could have gotten some things for, so we'll have to look at that too. <clears throat> okay, so who can I give this candy to, you guys? Can I give it to anybody? So what does it do? Uh, uh, grant a single po amount of EXP points. Okay. <clears throat> Who's lower? 54. Okay, wait. I think we're going to be... I think we're going to want to fight with a fire type for the next boss, right? Because that makes sense. We're in that ice land, I think. So we're going to give this to Typhlosian. Awesome. Okay. Why is his red? I'm not sure why his bar is red. Lux rays is yellow? What does that mean? I don't know why their bars are different colors. I don't know, guys. Okay, so we stashed all of our stuff. Um, That's cool. I guess we could sleep till morning. Let's go ahead and do that. Till morning. Why not? And then I guess we could go take the boss on, but... Oh. Boss fights stress me out, you guys. They stress me out. But I guess this is as good a time as any to take on the boss fight, right? Do I have all the best Pokemon in my party though for that? I don't know. I am not sure. I mean, we've got, got some great ones. A lot of these are, um, a lot of these are alphas. Four of them are alphas, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I guess we could do it, you guys. I guess we could do it. Let's check the store. Is there anything new in the store? Where's the store again? Over here. Oi. Good morning, everybody. How's it going, store guy? Choi, what's up? Please bring Tao Hua three pop pods. Oh, yeah, that pop pods. That's right. I don't think I have any pop pods. I mean, I think I have like one. I don't have three, though. I have like one. Okay, what do they got? A uh, cake lure base. Okay. Uh, no, nah, we'll skip that. We don't need that stuff. We don't need to, to, yeah. So we, yeah, we only have one of these pop pods, right? Isn't that a pop pod? Yeah. Seed vegetable used for crafting scatter bangs. If you warp in Okay, so we'll have to get some more of those. We gotta get some more of those for that quest here, but otherwise, um. Oh, look, we can sell this doll. Let's sell the doll. Sell. Yeah. That's cool, guys. All right, and let's go Let's go buy a charm, because I don't think I have any active charms. I might have an active charm, I'm not sure. But just for this boss fight, I think it might be good to have an, another charm, or so. If we could even get one. Oi, hi Lucille. I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of this shrine who watches over us in Jubilife Village. And you, child. Yeah, please, Uh, lose fewer things faint less frequently? Oh, I have just the charm. I'll take it. Thanks. Yay. So, okay, cool. I think I have another charm, too. Uh, and I can only have one at a time, right? Did I already have one? Survival charm. I thought I had another charm. I might have replaced it, but that's okay. Cause this is good. The survival charm will be good for us. Okay guys, I guess, I guess we'll attempt the boss fight. 
I don't really have anything else to do here. Dude, there's the farm, but... I don't even know if they're done growing stuff. No, I gotta get... I gotta get more Pokemon before they'll grow more stuff. So, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's go and do the boss fight, because we may as well. We might be terribly underleveled. It's a distinct possibility. And we're about to find out if that's the case. Okay, let's go. I could have just warped here. Yes, I want to go here. Yep. Time for boss, you guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Where is it? Man. I don't know why I would use any of the other mounts. Oh, oops. I don't know why I would use any of the other mounts considering how amazing this new mount is. <laughs> how do I go up? Go up, buddy. Up, 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 up. I guess that's good. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Faster, come on, faster, faster, faster. We're not gonna like run into the wall, into the hill, are we? Oh yeah, we are. Okay. It's time, guys, it's time. I know I'm gonna regret this because I feel like I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but let's do it. Here they are. Oi! Why, if it isn't Brandon? What a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face if that's in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. Okay. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Uh, sure. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalug, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I have was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can use sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose terribly, you guys. Doesn't seem a bit too powerful to take on. Yes. What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Oh, great. Doesn't that seem a bit too tall? Yes. Oh, you'll be all right. Just have to eat some sword caps, then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscles than that. Onward now to the arena. Oh, man. I feel like this is like the second to the last boss, you guys. I think so. Hmm, yes, I did want to see the Avalug, but perhaps not in the cost to cost of my life. Yeah, seriously. Oh. Okay, let's go. Let's go, I guess we'll use a different mount. Here it was just saying, why would you use any other mount? Well, in this case, I guess, <laughs> we'll use this mount. Hi, little guy. Here we go. So we are to quell Avalug. As you wished, in the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among the people of and Pokemon. Yeah. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using the eternal ice. I've heard how they are made and with muscles like mine. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, you're not that buff. Just a little bit, but not that buff. And here you have it. Thank you. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Oh, I'm going. I don't have unrivaled dodging ability, you guys. But I can dodge. I forgot how though, what is it, why? I think it's why. 
Oh my gosh! He's huge! He's ginormous, you guys! Look at him! Ah! 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 No! Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, Can I dodge through it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Huh. Huh. Oh. That didn't work out so well, you guys. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez. Yeah, I'm doing terrible, you guys. I'm already like half dead. Look at me. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> this is going terrible and I'm already dead that fast I don't know that I can do this concentrate on dodging and wait for your chance to strike back the powerful beam that Avalog launches from his main from his maw can be evaded with the Y button if you use your brief window of invulnerability to dodge straight through it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's try it again. Restart battle. Let's, we, let's try it again. Why not? Okay, now he's gonna do this thing. I throw, oh, ah! I went right into it, you guys. I dodged right into it. Oh! I'm not so sure I'm gonna beat this very well, you guys. I, uh-uh. I gotta dodge through this. Hey, I did this. Is he, is he vulnerable right now? Oh, I, I can send a Pokemon out? Oh, no, I can't. I missed my chance, you guys. Dang it. I definitely missed my chance on that one. I wish you could, like, heal mid-battle. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> At least we'll get to know his attacks. Okay, where do those come again? I forgot. Oh, not... Oh, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. Oh, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there, Brandon. Okay, now he's going to do that thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, please don't hit me! No! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, dang it. I didn't use my window of invulnerability very well. Send him my Pokemon. Can I do it? Come on. Why didn't it work? Dang it. Yeah, I'm definitely dead, you guys. I'm dead. Mm -mm. I'm dead. We tried. We did our best. <laughs> This is going to be a tough fight. At least we're learning. What does he do now? I forgot. <laughs> Here I am like, yeah, we're learning. Maybe if I stay on the side? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Where's it going to be? Oh! Dang it, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, one more try. And then... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do this a lot, I think. <gasps> oh, you guys! Finally! We did it! <laughs> Gosh. I had to rage quit, come back. This fight was the most difficult of this entire game, but we finally, finally did it. Oh, Mr. Avalog. If you only knew how difficult you were.
<laughs> yes, you received the icicle plate from Avalog. Okay. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of ice. You guys, we really have to go back and change some of the moves of our Pokemons. I haven't done that yet. Give some new type moves. We're going to do that next episode. Mark my words, Professor. Garrick, sir, you, didn't, you needn't look so downcast. Yeah, we did it. But seeing almighty Avalog quelled and by such a slight child. What'd she call me? Why do you guys always call me a, I guess I kind of am a child in some ways. A child that fell from the very sky. Is this Brandon, boy, some kind of monster in disguise? Shh, 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 shh. He's no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Brandon. Yeah? Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion. Flag in their devotion? But that will change. Irida. I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Brandon has so many, so much to teach us. He's shown us how he can overcome all manner, ma manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Gal Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. Yeah, she's a lot nicer now. Wasn't she mean to me before? You quelled every last frenzied noble! So, is that space-time rift going to start closing up now or what? No idea. There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift doesn't start spitting out more than strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Brandon. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. Oh, thanks guys, you guys are so nice. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. <laughs> it's the closest thing to a compliment you're gonna get, Irida. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I, s I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Probably not. I could go for some potato mochi right about now. The report to Commander Commodo that you've accomplished your mission. Okay, you guys, let's go report to Commander Commodo. Should we fly? Should we fly? Let's fly, you guys. It's so much fun to fly. Okay, we're gonna switch, actually, to the bird, and we're gonna fly. Oh, yes. <laughs> let's dash. Oh, I Professor, we're back. Each of the Pokemon nobles become frenzied, and now each one of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put it to an end. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. And to think, yeah. I... When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Mm, about that. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower. Okay, thanks. Don't forget the Survey Corps' work is not over. Yeah, totally. We did it, you guys. All right, let's go get some potato mochi. Thanks for this nice sizable helping of potato mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Yeah. Now it's time we focused on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. Of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment if Brandon hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? <sighs> no idea. And what will it make finally make it go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would it leave Brandon stranded here? I, I'm not sure. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilife Village, Brandon. Oh, thanks, Professor. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day work at the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got on our sights on, nothing less than a completed Pokedex. Totally. That's right, we'll get it done with Brandon in the lead and me as the Valiant Assistant. Assistant? Come now, Akari, don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. I love potato mochi. Never actually had one, but they sound great. I know I would love them. Anything potato is just perfect. <gasps> Ah! What happened? What the heck was that? Disaster looming? What? Okay, you guys, let's go see what the disaster looming is, and then we're going to save that for the next episode. Go outside and see what's happening. Oh, no. Guys, why is the sky all pink and purple-ish? Brandon. Yeah. Oh! Commander Commodo. What's going on? Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Pouring from the rift... Oh, I read that. Now the entire sky has gone red. Oh, no. Silene. I have word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Hmm. <gasps> The way the sky has changed, it is ominous, very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of... Oh, the Sarita. You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is one more pressing concern here that must be addressed. <gasps> the first strike of the strange lightning, the one that drove Cleavor into a frenzy, it struck into the night that Brandon fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Yeah, duh. Ah! Who or what are you really, Brandon? Oh no, here we go. Getting grilled. Uh, I, I don't really know. Liar! Indeed. You came from the rift as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? See, I figured at some point they would get mad at me and grill me, because I came from the rift, right? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you really were after here? I don't know. Fun? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Brandon has wronged us. Yeah. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it'd take to make got this fearsome, uh, all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? All my friends can vouch for me. But that's, no one can do that, you're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Good point. 
Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Brandon supposed to do then? Banish him from our village forever. He will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. What did I do? There is all things in a, there are, are those in the village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team. Whoa! I mean, what, what's changed? Why are they so mad at me? Consider yourself banished. Oh, he, I was I was trying to make a joke. He's actually banishing us. Banished from the village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people? No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. <gasps> How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Brandon? No. Do not accept. Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf, or you'll be banished too, Irida. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is what I have chosen to walk out of here, free rather than clap you in chains. Well, you should be arrested for wearing socks with sandals. I'm so tired of seeing your feet with those toes poking through your socks. You ought to be expelled from the village? Look at their mouths. <laughs> what? Why? It's a long story. Orders are orders. We're expelled, you guys. Let's go. Okay, Silene. This way. Okay coming. Bye guys, I'll miss you. Look at all the stunned faces of the people. Can it really be true? None of it's true. It's all, it's all, it's tabloid. Don't read that stuff. How can anyone do such a thing? I guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. I didn't do anything. Wow, this is heavy, you guys. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village to the Fieldlands camp. I'll see him off. As will I. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Good, they're gonna give me some snacks or something. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. <laughs> music, you guys. The banishing music. You're banished! Hey guys. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if it did not happen, if, if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. A man, is of sci a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. Ooh, Celine's mad. You will only cause Brandon more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. Yeah. However, there are others who might offer to help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course! Perhaps Adaman or Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they're both already returned to their respective settlements. I can go there. But perhaps you could try to go find Lian first. He's likely to be at Grand Tree Arena. Okay. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will obey that order, Captain Selene. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice. In this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. 
How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. This is... I like this. This is wise. Thank you, Nintendo, for putting some real life in here. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. This is so true, you guys. So let me just step out for a second from Gamer Land. You can never make everyone happy in this world, right? You can't. It's not possible. Some people will like you. Some people won't like you. And that's okay. The important thing is that you love yourself, you like yourself, and you do what makes you happy. That's what's important. And you treat people with respect and also respect their right to do what makes them happy. What if I dream, Professor says, what of the dream I first shared with you of at Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna seek out Leon, but not in this episode because we've been going far too long. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next episode which will come sooner than this one did. All right. Goodbye my friends.